is up everyone my name is Jared and today I'm coming at you with the second episode of my learning to edit series and this one I'm gonna go over masking but before we do that I just wanna say a few things first off I really wanna thank everyone for all the feedback we've been getting on hit if you guys didn't know we hit 7k now we released our 5k team Taj recently and it got number one on Obey Scarce's top 10 underrated teams which is just crazy and the support we've been getting is amazing and we're having an a recruitment challenge coming out Saturday so if you guys are interested in joining go check that out I will have the hit channel in the description so make sure you go check that out and wait for the RC on Saturday and in this episode we're gonna be talking about masking and as you can see I just did a little bit of masking in this motion track right here you can see right there the text is behind the wall and so that's it's probably a little bit laggy for you guys sorry about that but um looks fine for me and if I take away this mask layer as you can see it looks really bad the text is like through the wall so all we have to do and also if you want um, a motion tracking tutorial just let me know and I'll make that for the next tutorial hopefully next Thursday I'll come up with that or maybe even next Tuesday I'm not sure but anyways you just gotta take your motion track layer duplicate it control D to duplicate take it above your motion track element 3d layer and then name it mask and you're going to want to delete the camera tracker so now what I want to do is turn this off go up here get the pen tool if it's any one of these you just want to make sure it's the normal pen tool and zoom in if you have um, like a mouse roller and you can use that to zoom in and if you press it down you can use the little hand or you can go up here and you can move it around so that's really helpful and now what I'm going to do is click I'm just gonna zoom in against the wall click here and then just go down to the bottom and click here and that's all we're gonna need to mask so we can just bring this down here and connect it and if I turn this back on as you can see the text is behind the wall and that looks pretty sweet <clears throat> so now what we got to do is go to our mask press M keyframe the mask path make sure you do that I've masked up I masked stuff for about 30 minutes and I just come back and I realize I haven't even keyframed it and it's really annoying so make sure you do that and if I were you I'd go like every frame or every few frames but since this is a tutorial I'm just gonna go every 10 frames so I'm gonna hold shift and click the next frame key to go over 10 I'm gonna zoom in again and just adjust it if it needs adjusted looks like it's pretty good we'll just adjust it a little bit and I'll go over 10 more same thing it's pretty self-explanatory just takes some time <clears throat> but trust me if you do this it makes your edits look a lot better so I really recommend doing it I would definitely not have text going through the wall I would not recommend that because that just looks terrible and no one wants to see that alright so this is gonna take a little bit so I'm gonna pause this and I will see you guys when I'm done alright guys so as you can alright guys so as you can see I am done with the masking portion and now it's perfectly masked well not perfectly obviously but I mean it's masked so you can't see it through the wall so now what you're gonna want to do is go to here I can't press control shift D but I'm recording you could do that and then just delete the second half I'm just gonna go to edit split layer and delete that and alright guys so as you can see it's pretty well masked it's obviously not perfect it doesn't really matter because I'm not putting this in an edit but that is how you mask motion tracks it's a really helpful tip to know so I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the second part of the tutorial. Alright guys, I'm back with part two of the masking tutorial. This part, I'm going to be covering rotoscoping, or using the rotobrush tool. This is a different type of masking, it's like automatic masking. It can save you a lot of time, but it does mess up sometimes. So here's what I did, I made it in a few minutes. It obviously doesn't look very good, but basically what I have is I have the guy on this layer and then the background layer is just the background and there's a uh, tint and camera lens blur on that so that's it, um, the blur and the tint covers the background but not the guy so that's what I did it's kinda cool I didn't really execute it very well it doesn't look very good but I'm just gonna show you how to do this for the tutorial's sake alright so first thing um, I'm gonna get rid of these first thing you gotta duplicate your layer you can do this with anything with clips or cinematics I'm just gonna show a cinematic um, 
we'll just name it uh, Roto Brush, I guess. And then see this up here next to the eraser tool. It's if it's the refine edge tool, just click it and just go to the Roto Brush tool. Then we're going to need to double click this layer, the top layer, and we're going to go to the first layer, first um, frame, sorry. And then as you can see, you have the screen thing. Just drag and it'll select. If you want to deselect, you hold Alt and then drag it. And it basically gets everything that's a similar color and it works pretty well. As you can see, that's about perfect. That's basically all I need. And then um, this gray area back here, as you can see over here, it'll just cover the whole thing. What you got to do is you got to drag this all the way through and then as you can see it'll stay on the guy when it loads computer's being pretty slow right now but yeah as you can see it's not perfect obviously but it stays on the guy so basically all you have to do now basically oh, sorry about that basically all you have to do now is um, just go to where it messes up and then just fix it as you can see there's a little area here that we don't need so we're just going to need to fix that and it's pretty easy fix I mean obviously it doesn't have to be perfect for me I'm just I'm not using this in an edit or anything but you can spend a decent amount of time on this if you want to um, I'm just going to do this real quick because I have to go in a little bit um, but yeah just go through find where it messes up and fix it so right here it's a pretty obvious area All right, yeah, I'm just gonna skip to the end now. It doesn't really have to be perfect for me. I'm just showing you guys the technique of doing it. But now, um, after you have fixed it up completely how you want it, you just have to click this freeze thing. This is really important because if you don't click that, it won't do anything. And now as you can see, it's going through the frames of the guy. Mine is obviously pretty terrible. I didn't do a very good job of it. I just wanted to get it done really quick. Um, but yeah, I'll be back to you guys when this is over. Alright, so now, as you can see, it's all done. So what I'm going to do is X out of this, go back to the main composition, and go to the bottom layer. You can drag on your effects. I'm just going to do the tint and the um, blur. You can do any kind of blur. I'm just going to get a uh, Gaussian blur. And then just... As you can see, it's pretty subtle, but it's pretty cool effect. Obviously, mine is not very good. Um, and if yours is kind of choppy and you need to um, feather it, you can just go on this layer and you can feather it. So as you can see, I can make it look a little bit better by feathering it. So that helps a little bit. That makes it look a little bit nicer, even though it won't look good. My mask is really bad. I didn't do a good job of this, but. I hope you guys understood this. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I will be happy to answer your questions. If you have any suggestions for the next tutorial, or if you want me to do motion tracking in the next tutorial, let me know about that. Or just leave any suggestions or feedback you have on the video. Thanks for watching. Peace.